Yo, what's going on, guys? Christy Flakes here. So it's been absolutely months since I've done my last NBA 2K rebuild, and I woke up this morning and I just felt like the itch to do one. And I thought no better team to do today than the Utah Jazz, who were like so disappointing in the playoffs again, man. It's just like every single season with this core, you look at it and you're just like, okay, they'll be good in the regular season playoffs. We know they'll choke away, man. Every single time, I'm sure Jazz fans are sick of it, but don't you all worry, man. I'm gonna save this franchise today and get you guys back on the right track. Now, if you guys do want the occasional rebuild still here on the channel, uh, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. But uh, I don't know, man. Like, part of me kind of wants to do like an off-season rebuild series here on top of you know the. Uh, little nba discussion show i've been doing too on the side man like i don't know i really love doing that too so here we go so let's go ahead man and get going on this and i think the first thing we should do before we go through the roster is kind of see like who performed how in the playoffs and everything like that man so if you bring up the stats real quick here as you can see dava mitchell pretty low field goal percentage at 38 percent you know 25 26 points per game but when it comes down to it it's like that's who's on the team man like Donovan mitchell they knew you know they knew going into it that he was gonna be the guy getting the ball and everything like they made it difficult for him and uh, he still put up his numbers and everything man but this team you know, he just needs some help you know you got uh bogdanovich out there 18 points four rebounds per game like he's fine i, I like bogdanovich he's he's all right man uh rudy gobert i don't know man like my opinions on rudy gobert is just that i understand he's a good center i understand that the analytics absolutely love him but i do not think that he can be the second best player on the championship team at least not this championship team man so yeah beyond that uh we need a new point guard you know mike conley ain't gonna cut it after the season uh jordan clarkson's cool we'll keep him around but the goal of this rebuild is going to be to build around donovan mitchell and to get younger and to get quicker man and uh, all that good stuff in between right so let's go ahead and get going on this Alrighty. so uh, the first thing we're gonna do is hit up the draft lottery and I don't know what the Jazz's uh, draft pick situation is, but uh, I guess we're going to find that out, right, man? But uh, do we have a chance at a lottery pick? We do not. We do not. But, uh, you know, trades and stuff can happen and make that possibility. So, yo, the Grizzlies got the Lakers pick. Oh, my goodness, man. Wow. The Grizzlies get the second pick in the draft. That is unbelievable. Do the Jazz not have a first-round pick? Yo, what is going on with this franchise? Why don't y'all got a damn draft pick, man? Come on now okay 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 well we're not doing nothing there staff signing is uh is, is is quinn still around man he is for two seasons all right we're gonna keep him i like quinn snyder i think he's a good coach there's rumors about him going to the lakers but uh then he said he wasn't interested because of how they handled the frank vogel firing which i think is totally fair to say man but uh all right so no draft picks let's go to the pre-draft because you know maybe we'll get like a trade out there that we like to see but let's hit this up real quick here and uh the first thing i want to do is I want to look at some trades for Rudy Gobert. Because like I was saying, man, like, Rudy's a great center. He's just not great for this team. I think that's okay to say. And uh, with 91 overall, we should be able to get a really good player back in return. <laughs> Nobody wants Rudy. <laughs> Nobody wants... Oh, we can suck with Rudy? I'm going to be in a Rudy pissed off mood. That's pretty funny. That was... It wasn't. I'm not even gonna like. Not gonna front that one, man. Okay, let's go to proposed trade. And uh, yeah, the one team I was thinking about that I was kind of hearing man, through the grapevine that uh, they could be interested in the Golden State Warriors. And uh, I think I can make something work here, man. So I'm thinking, yo, where's James Wiseman, man? What's his contract looking like? Yeah, always. Oh, ex okay, so we can't trade him for him right now. Okay, I think we're gonna wait till after free agency, maybe or like during free agency to do that. Cause I'm, I was thinking like a James Wiseman, Andrew Wiggins type of thing seeing if i can kind of swing that because that would be pretty great you know get us more athletic and get us also some really good rebuild pieces mainly like you know james wiseman so yeah we'll kind of look at that but right now nobody's interested man so uh, yeah let's go to the nba draft which uh, we don't have any picks although we might have a second rounder nope just no picks at all man no picks at all for the utah jazz so not a uh, absolutely great start but rookie signings nothing there team player options this team could just kind of be stuck low-key qualifying offers our Eric Paschkel, uh, I like Eric, he's fine. Trent Forrest, 68 overall, he can walk away as far as I'm concerned. And moratorium period. Okay, so we're in free agency. Uh, we're negative $43 million in the cap, so nothing's going on there. No cap, literally. Oh, this man expected $5 million? For Jalen Brunson, really? Come on, 2K. Yo, gotta respect that man more than that, but uh, he would actually be the perfect fit, like the perfect Mike Conley replacement too. Okay, so uh, let's see, this time... Is anybody willing to bite on Rudy? Anybody at all? Nobody wants Rudy Gobert. 
seems like they're kind of thinking what i'm thinking okay well i think james wiseman should be signed now so we can try the initial trade that i was kind of thinking um so here we go yeah this is gonna be all right so there we go james wiseman we'll also have to put in andrew wiggins to match salary i think that's okay to do and uh rudy gobert and that's the trade right there hopefully that's enough just to get it done you know what honestly no i think that's that should be good man here we go we actually you know, let's let's we might as well try to upsell a little bit right like make them negotiate a little bit like let's go let's go the first round pick too man you know what let's go two first round picks they got me enough to get it done all right okay 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 so uh that's not gonna work just one pick okay so it seems they're really set on keeping andrew wiggins wow untouchable untouchable for andrew wiggins what if i even toss in i'm tossing rudy gay you get rudy gay okay man so that's not gonna happen wow we are gonna be stuck with rudy gobert maybe for the time being man um i'll take wiggins out of it but i don't think there's any other way to match salary i mean draymond green <sighs> gives a guy that you know won a championship and stuff i guess we'll try this out this enough once again we're gonna help out a little bit too give me the pick too man draymond's kind of aging up in there okay so draymond also untouchable man wow and we can't do this trade just to get out of the salary so yeah this one is not going to work which just kind of like stalls like everything i want to do so i guess maybe we have to wait till the trade deadline or something maybe a team will be interested by then but uh for now we gotta roll out with it so we gotta try to get younger in other ways and like i said man like point guard position definitely position i really want to look at so let's do a trade of mike conley um uh, let's toss in uh, yeah jared butler just you know being like a good like young asset out there and stuff you know jordan clark's play combo guard off the bench and everything uh toss in second round pick so we got tobias harris i mean four years younger than mike conley obviously let's take over our point guard situation but i uh, guess it's a nice little decent score out there along, alongside rudy gobert like if that's the route we have to go with uh drew holiday cool but i'm uh, not really feeling it patrick williams no um he's only 74 overall like honestly 2k steven adams kyle lowry no mike conley only got this last year on his contract too here we get manual quickly and we get alec burks out of it that's pretty interesting that's pretty interesting but it doesn't make us Ooh, oh yo jalen suggs and markel folds oh dang man yo loki i probably use markel off the bench but i like that trade a lot ben simmons we're not doing that tyrese halliburton i don't see that going down uh jonas felt choose Devontae graham no pascal siakam okay so we got the raptors maybe looking for a little something different uh pascal siakam so if we do this trade right here this is basically the raptors like going all into the next off season and kind of freeing up some space so they got guys like og and scotty barnes you know at this uh small four power forward position pascal's cool i don't know if i love him as a center man i don't know if he loves him as a center so uh yeah good opportunity to do this and actually just because i feel like it's fair like i feel like that's kind of a finesse for me and i'm gonna toss another future first round pick i know man i just feel like it's a finesse and i'll sleep better at night if i do it this way so all right uh pascal siakam what i i offered you another pick oh my goodness oh okay so you want two second round okay that's fine okay I, i'll be i mean yeah i'll do that and i get an unprotected first okay well hey thank you uh whoever is that negotiator should be fired instantly at least for them not so much for me okay so uh i mean that gets a nice veteran piece on the team gives us a low-key big three up in here makes me you know keeping pascal not as bad um we still need a point guard and at this point pun intended totally pun intended uh jalen brunson is still sitting right there man like honestly i mean if 2k don't want to pay i'm gonna scoop him up man so yeah let's go let's give him what uh, that's the most i can give him man all right all right yo if we get jalen brunson yeah 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 yeah. okay okay just pretend i gave him a larger contract man but uh oh that's beautiful that's like exactly 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 what we needed okay so he is on the squad so at this point we can have some other things really like gary payton uh the second although we got jordan clarkson for the bench unit i know we're gonna need like a backup center um al horford and larkas aldridge would be nice to get somebody that can kind of stretch out a little bit i'll take al horford i guess for a season it's a minimum deal honestly if we can get him and if we can get uh the marcus aldridge makes us pretty bulky but i think it could definitely work for what we're trying to do up in here so we got that uh kyle anderson don't really see myself needing him Otto porter i'll take Otto porter so he wants to come to the team and he's going to the lakers all right that's uh that's completely fair 
Um, okay, I think we're good to go for right now. I want to grab up Boucher. Then we got C minus three points. Try kind of falling off in that department. Okay, uh, no, let's go ahead and simulate to at the beginning of the regular season. Okay, so here is the roster as of right now. We definitely got to make some changes to the positioning. So we're going to go ahead, man, and we are going to put uh, Pascal Siakam at the power forward position, wherever he went off to. Where'd he go, man? Bottom of the list? Oh, damn, he went all the way to the bottom. Okay, so yeah, power forward, secondary center. Um, Royce at small forward, small forward, small forward shooting guard for him. At times he plays shooting guard, maybe, and, uh, you know, lock up the other team. Uh, we got Kevin Knox on the squad. Okay, let's go with Al Horford at power forward, which he has played quite a bit for the Boston Celtics. Secondary center. Um, Gobert's good. Clarkson, secondary point guard for sure. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, let's go with Bogdanovich as a small forward power forward. He might be coming off the bench. I'm not sure yet. You kind of get up there and age a little bit. It would be nice to have a scoring boost and have Royce O'Neal in the starting lineup to feel like defense and everything. Um, okay, so that's looking pretty, pretty crispy. So Jalen Brunson, Donovan Mitchell, Bogdanovich. <laughs> I just realized trade from John. I just got Jalen Brunson in a jazz video. Okay, I'm sorry, man. Too soon, too soon. But uh Okay, so Bob Bogdanovich actually kind of wanted to start. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. We'll see how it rocks. Uh and then Jordan Clarkson, Royce, Al Horford. Um, let's go ahead. Lamarcus Aldridge is gonna kinda, you know, might be slowing us out a little. So we'll get up Alexander Walker some minutes right here. So that's fine. Uh let's get Pascal playing quite a bit. I want to play him like 35. Same with Mitchell. Okay, let's do this. Bump this down a little bit. Get this man up to 30. Okay, that's looking pretty, pretty crispy. 27 for Bogdanovich. Rudy Gobert right there. Okay, that's good, man. That's good. Um, as far as our system goes, we have a pace and space system looking good to me. Uh, besides that, man, like, I'm going to go for the championship this season. Any tra No, no trade tip for Rudy Gobert. Nobody wants this, man. Okay, well, hopefully after this season, more, more teams will bite. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate the season, guys, and see what happens. Okay, guys, at the end of the regular season, we are second place in the Western Conference, which means nothing because we got to win a championship. And I looked at the trade deadline, and uh, yeah, man, there were still no offers for Rudy whatsoever. So, keeping them for the season. Simulate through date. 54 wins, though. Uh, 55 wins. So, John Morant, MVP. No uh, surprise there whatsoever. Kate Cunningham, Rookie of the Year because, well, 2K's being 2K. Uh, Nurkic as six man. Giannis defensive player Saban Lee as most improved hey I like seeing that and Taylor Jenkins coach here 67 wins we got all NBA first all NBA second and all NBA third so uh all right yeah we yeah we're in the second place man let's go to the player stats on the season see how everybody performed for us and Mitchell uh 23 points five assists so had some more scoring helping Pascal Siakam dropping the 22 nine and singles are actually fantastic numbers Clarkson at 15 uh, 13 for Bogdanovich, and a little bit more limited minutes. Like I said, he's kind of up there in age a little bit. So, uh, I know he's got some injury history, so didn't want to play him too heavy. Uh, Brunson at 10 and 6. Yeah, I know he got more capabilities than that, but, uh, maybe in 2K23, right, man? So, here we go, here we go. First round of the playoffs. Or, I guess, Simon. We got, uh, okay, we got the Denver Nuggets. Simulate round, man. See how this goes. And, hey, we made it to the second round. Okay, okay, that's a start. That's a start. Uh, close out game. Look, is that Mel Carmelo? Oh, Carmelo back on the Nuggets. I low key actually love that. Pascal, though, dropping the 35, 5, and 9. And I think that's just all this team really needed. They just needed, like, to take some pressure off Mitchell and somebody that wasn't Bogdanovich or Jordan Clarkson doing it, man. Because at that point, you know, Rudy's looking pretty good. But uh, next round, Minnesota. Simulate round here. And, well, there we go. Second round. Bitch ass Jackson, man. Damn. It's always something, man. Like four blocks too. Okay, that's I mean that's I can barely even blame Rudy on that one, man. We just lost. We just lost. So Grizzly winning it all. Okay, man. So here we are. Here we are on the next offseason. I swear if like a team does not bite somewhat on Rudy Gobert, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> this is all I want to do is just trade him in this video. Um Yeah, obviously no, I'm a lottery pick, but do we have our pick here? And we do we have the 28th pick in the draft. So much we can do with that, man. Uh, staff signing up. We're not going to worry about that. Although at this point, Quinn Snyder, you could find himself being a little bit on the hot seat for not being able to get done in the playoffs. Um, Rudy Gobert. Oh my goodness, man. Somebody take him from me, please. $41 million though. Like that's hard. That's hard, man. That's hard. Okay. Um, so we're not going to worry about that. NBA draft. Let's hit it up. Sim to user pick. And 
shrubbery. Yeah, so uh, choose products. Uh, can, can we toss in the tray with Rudy this time? Come on, come on, 2K. Oh, oh, oh. Nothing, nothing whatsoever. Just Rudy by himself. Still nothing, man. All right, so uh, choose prospect. Let's go with best available. Uh, oh, Hunter Sal is actually a beast. Yeah, he could be a he could be a really solid like uh, you know backup to Jalen Brunson. I actually like that a lot. There we go. Welcome to the squad. He always seems to do really well in this game. At least last time I played it. So rookie signings get him signed up. There we go. Uh, team player options. Clarkson accepted. Cool with that. Royce. Yeah, I'm gonna give him that. He's already 30. Damn man. Uh, Azubuiki also can come back for the three mil. All right. Uh, qualifying offers. Alexander Walker. We'll give him the qualifying. He hasn't really been playing too much for us, man. Just don't really feel like there's room for him on the team all too much. If I'm being honest. Uh, here we go, here we go. So, my God, you want to play backup point guard, man? <laughs> like, low-key. Uh, there's Wiggins again. If we want to go for somebody like that, Vucevic. All right. Once again, it would be nice to get rid of Rudy. But, uh, all right, let's see what's off. Let's, let's, let's see what we can find for him, man. Like, the, the hardest part here is going to be finding, like, the money to match it. Right? But also, we're looking for a center. Like, that's what we would need back. Just a different type of center. And I don't know if that's going to be a possibility for us to do. Like, here we go for Jared Allen. Get Larry Markin out of it. Um, could be a little interesting. Uh, nothing there I want. Paul George. I mean, if I could pull Paul George on this team for a season or two. Do I offer that straight? He's already, I mean, he's already only 85 overall, though, man. So, I don't know if I'm feeling that either. Clint Capella and go for John Collins, maybe. Let me see what this will look like. And this is going to be for Rudy Gobert, right? 86 and a younger player in the 84 on Clint Capella. That kind of plays the same way. Do not like it. Nobody likes Rudy. He's just like the most hated man. He's the most hated man. Um, Porzingis? I'll take Porzingis. Come on, man. Give me Porzingis. Oh, my goodness, man. I'm going to throw up. I'm literally going to get stuck with this man for the whole video. There's got to be something here. Please, somebody find me a trade. <laughs> Oh boy, Detroit. Do I want to do Detroit like that? Not really. Um, CJ McCollum, Valachunas, Ingram. Yo, if I can pull Ingram away, there's no way. There's no way. All right, I will do Ingram and two first round picks. Come on. Come on, man. Three first round picks. And a second round pick. And. A first round pick. Nobody wants them. Wow, we are stuck. Oh boy. Uh, what else we got? Evan Mobley. Yeah, we all know that's not gonna happen. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, Sabonis. So I could be a little interested in that. And then all these damn picks, but I'll take Sabonis. Hey, yo, we okay? We got Sabonis. Okay, that's something different. It's an All Star player. I'll take it. I will take it. Uh, we have no defense, <laughs> but it's all good because it wasn't working out. Um, okay, okay, that's something though. That's a solid team. That's a solid team. It's going to be difficult to beat. He's only 27 bonuses, so all right, I feel good about that. And he was really cheap too, man. He was really cheap. So uh, all right, um, so that's going to give you know some free ups up some more money here to hopefully do some things. So let's just go ahead and get Jokic. No, we're negative 33 million, so nothing too crazy is going to happen. Um, you know what, man? If Mike Conley wants to come back for $5 million, I'll take him. He knows the system. We need a backup. I would do that. I would do that. So, Bogdanovich probably going to be gone. That's okay. I'm kind of ready for uh, Royce to kind of take things over. I also want to pay the man. Actually, if we do... Yeah, let, 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 let me get Mike Conley. We'll do that. Get him signed up. All right, he signed up. What y'all want for Tyler here? Okay, so uh, nothing there. Um, So, probably going to be looking for... I mean, that's so cheap. That's so cheap. Where do I want Dort? You know, give me Dort. Give me Dort. I got that bulldog mentality that I'm looking for, man. I mean, I'm trying, trying to get away from things that haven't been working. Oh, an $18 million or $21 million trade exception. Okay, well, that pays for Dort. <laughs> so we're good there. Um, 
Show me some love, Kevin Love. We'll take you on. I saw you almost get that sick man. You can go fly away to the Hawks then, for all I care. Uh, okay, anything else? Anything else? I think... Maybe Anderson? I kind of like his... Uh, I don't like anything about man. Okay, I'm, I'm going to start complimenting players before they join the team. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Al. <laughs> Come chill, Al. Come on, man. Come on, big Al. Okay, we, we'll, we'll bring you in. We'll bring you in. I think we're good. Let's go ahead, man. Ooh, you know what? Let me get some more offense on this team. Simulate to the beginning of the regular season. Okay, guys. So here is the team going into the beginning of the regular season. Except Mike Conley's old ass is coming off the bench. So, like, that's just how it's going to be. But then we got Mitchell. We got Dorf for some perimeter defense. We got Pascal. And we got Sabonis. Uh, bench unit. We got Mike Conley. Royce. Jordan Clarkson. And Kelly Olinick. We're going to do that for our nine-man rotation. I actually really like this team here, man. I think it's really solid. Um, not as good defensively anymore, but you know, it is what it is. Let's get some bonus playing a bit. Yeah, Mike Conley don't gotta be playing that much, man. Like, for one, like Jordan Clarkson. Why is Mike Conley so high rate, highly rated, by the way? I don't know. Um Alright, cool with that. Perfect. It's solid, man. Let's go ahead and simulate this second NBA season and see if we can I don't know, man, like Western Conference Finals, please, maybe. That'd be like the best hope. Okay, so we are at the NBA trade deadline. I don't know if I love the uh, trajectory of the team as we are six in the conference, but uh, let's see how everybody's doing so far here, man. And uh, the newest additions to the team and everything. So Mitchell doing great. Sabonis at 20. I'm sorry, uh, Siakam at 21, 8, and 5. Sabonis at 16 and 13, 7 assists. I honestly like, I mean, obviously, like defense isn't the greatest and stuff, but uh, stat wise, they're doing pretty good. Stat wise, they're doing pretty good here. So purely for scientific reasons. Not gonna even gonna do anything here, man. But just, just, just purely scientific reasons. Wonder what you can put both these guys together. No, we ain't gonna do that. But yo, what are these trades, though, man? <laughs> what are these trades? That's kind of interesting. So now the bonus want to go back to the Pacers like that. They want to do it. There's my Ingram trade, but I got to go 287 overalls to do so. Kyrie and Jeremy Grant. Okay, okay. D-Book. Ooh! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. Big time risk right here. Big time risk because both these guys are expiring contracts. Oh, Oh, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it, man. I'm trying to win the damn championship, bro. Okay? Okay, man. We're trying to get back on this rebuild streak, you know, in the right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, man. So, that was perfect. And then what we're going to do... Oh, I like that. That's a nasty team. That's a nasty team. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, next up. Next up. Next up. Low-key door can play some power forward. I actually kind of like that in this positionless uh, NBA world. It's gonna be a very short lineup, man. Very short, but uh, they'll be balling out. Please believe. Okay. Yeah, let's go with it. Where do you go? Where do you go? Where Dort? So Dort at power forward. Oh, yeah. Secondary small forward. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kool Aid, man. We'll give Mike Conley the bet to start. We'll give him the start. Oh, <laughs> damn. I don't know how I feel about it, though, man. <laughs> I feel like I just like. <laughs> oh, that's our big three, though. That's our big three, baby. Oh, that's our big three, baby. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, what's our system looking like? Because that could just be looking all sorts of. Okay, that's actually perfect. Four star system. Let's go ahead, man. Simulate the rest of the season. Okay, end of the regular season. Uh, definitely some nice W's up in the month of March. We got one more game here, guys. We're third in the conference against the Detroit Pistons. So regular season wise, I mean, like I said, the start of the season wasn't the greatest. Some like the dates of the you know the record's not gonna be a great indicator. But we got Lamelo MVP Victor as rookie of the year. Uh, Julius Randle, six man. Damn, bro. <laughs> oh, damn. Down bad. Okay, uh, all NBA first, all NBA second, and all NBA third. So Cat making all NBA second. Love to see it. And we are the third seed, so we got the Pelicans in the first round. Never a great thing because the Pelicans are always dominant in this game. Uh, but let's go to the player stats on the season here, man. So we got. Anthony Edwards, 24.6 rebounds, 5 assists. Mitchell at 23, 4, and 5. Towns at 20. We got our defensive squad up in there and Kelly Olenek. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Simulate, simulate playing. Here we go, San Antonio Spurs, simulate round. Wait, what team am I again? Why did I say the Minnesota Timberwolves? Oh, because I got Ant-Man and Cat. Oh, he swept him. Okay, I literally just spaced out completely. Completely, okay, no. We got the Kings now. Oh, the Kings got Rudy, don't they? This might be awkward. Oh, yeah, it's about to get awkward. Oh, not too awkward. Three points. Yeah, we ain't worried about Sacramento. Simulate round. See how this goes. And way too easy, man. Way too easy. Way too easy. The Utah Timberwolves beasting out there, man. What, what? Seven points. Yeah, we done with them days. Here we go. Oh, uh, simulate round. Hey, here we go, man. We're in the NBA Finals against the MVP. We need to beat last year's MVP and John Rand. Now we got to beat this year's MVP in the Mellow Ball. But we're there, man. We're in the NBA Finals. It only took us having to completely sabotage the T-Wolves. Combining forces. Let's get it. Simulate round. Ah! No! We got to the finals. We got to the finals, man. But uh, we did not win it. That's okay. That's okay. That's all we got for this video, guys. Uh, hopefully, you all enjoyed me bringing back a rebuild in some capacity. Hopefully, it's what you all was looking for, man. But, uh, yeah. I don't know how often I'm going to do these. You know, still really trying to grow my other stuff. But, uh, hopefully, you guys all enjoyed. And every once in a while, I think it's kind of cool, man. So, thank you all so much for watching. And peace out.